Good morning, Dana. It's Thursday, August. Why don't I ever know the date anymore? It's Throwback Thursday. You and me, we like the same kind of music. That's why we make a good you and me. So, Dana, I know, like in my second video, I said that I was never going to vlog close to nudity ever again. And I'm totally breaking that promise right now, but it'll be okay because bathtub vlogging is fun! And you can call me Bathily instead of Natalie and it'll be wonderful. Is this weird because I don't have my glasses on or is it weird because I'm in the bathtub? But I loved her video yesterday and I miss Gwen so much in your backyard and the little chairs that we sat in and we drank lemonade and I miss it! I looked up the history of bell bottoms on Wikipedia and they don't know the answer. They think that maybe in the 1850s, naval men wore bell bottoms for no specific reason. But there's no real evidence of how they became part of the hippie counterculture or why people still wear them. There was this really cool fact on Wikipedia though that said that the men in the Navy used to slip their bell bottoms off and use the bell bottoms to catch air to use them as life preservers. <laughs> Think of all the money that the military could save if everyone just used their pants as life preservers. Pants for floating in the sea. Pants for you and for me. Pants get your bell bottoms. Ah, oh, I don't have a rhyme for that. The naval people wore trousers that just looked baggy at the bottom, and in the 1960s, people wore bell bottoms that started to flare out at your crotch and went all the way out to your foot. And in the 1990s, and pants today, they're like upside down funnels where you have like a tube to your knee and then a Christmas tree. I'm not really sure why I thought it was necessary to explain pants to you. You've kind of been wearing them all your life. I feel like I learned something new about you. I didn't know you were such a good photographer. Those photos of your backyard are really amazing. Good work. Uh, I'm hunting down because the water is beginning to get really cold. I should probably get out now. So you know, just because I have to do a throwback. Yeah, my video gaming went on for a lot longer than I had expected it to, so I'm gonna go do other things with my day now. Um, that was a pretty fun throwback though. Nintendo, old school style. <laughs> you know what, Dana? That's an excellent challenge. You have to go find out why blowing in video games works. Tomorrow's my last day of work and I'm really excited and I can't wait to see your video and I hope you get your laptop back and you should really tell our viewers about what's gonna happen next week. It's Wonder Week! Yay! Can you frackin' believe it? I'll be in Ohio in 15 days!